In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own Imhoff cone for measuring the texture of soils. Start with, you need to get a soil sample. I started with 50 grams of soil, just like I did in my hydrometer, if you haven't seen that. And I've put that 50 grams into a measuring cylinder. And currently I have 29 milliliters of soil in here. And then this one is just a Nalgene container and I've put measurements on here until and I've put soil in until I got to the two centimeter spot on and I just took a ruler to draw those on. It took not 50 grams but 200 grams almost to get to that 200 uh, two centimeter spot on my measuring device. I then am going to add salty water and I'll give you the instructions on how to make salty water in your lab. And this is the one for here. I've measured out 500 milliliters to add to this one. This one's great because it came with a, wait, I should talk it. This one's great because it came with a lid. I can shake that up. And start my timer for a minute. And after a minute, I'm going to see how much sediment has settled, and that will be how much sand. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I measured it enough for 100. This time, it's going to be a little harder. I'm going to try and do it this way. With a narrower column, it becomes more difficult. <laughs> but I didn't think it would be that difficult. And I got to keep an eye out on my timer so that I can measure how much I have after a minute. And I have almost exactly two centimeters, which means most of my sample is sand because I thought I had approximately two centimeters in there. There were air spaces and pore spaces that have now disappeared, but still. All right, I got this one mixed up. Just waiting for an appropriate time to start. All right, and now I'm going to start one minute timer on that one. After I've waited a minute, I get the sand. The next time is an hour. So from an hour from now, add, I'll find out how much sediment is there, and the addition will be the silt. And then I'll wait a full day or two or three, usually I wait until the water has become no longer cloudy and then I will measure how much clay has come out of deposit. Typically the clay is minimal because we have very sandy soils in this area, but where you are you might have a lot of clay. In the lab manual I have instructions on how to do this if you have a cylinder and some general guidelines to follow if you're using a jar at home. The narrower the better because then you need less, but you need enough dirt that you'll be able to measure increments of settling. So you need to find a jar that's appropriate and will hold enough sand 
to make the system work. The amount of water is less important as the sand that is settling out of that water. It is really interesting to me that both of these have more sediment in them now than they did when I started. So they were more finely set, which is interesting. Good luck on your making your own Imhoff cones at home.